Yellowstone supervolcano eruption could trigger nuclear winter and mass death. The Yellowstone National Park area has experienced three major eruptions in Earth's history. The largest, caldera-forming eruption occurred 2.1 million years ago and ejected 2,450 cubic kilometers of material, giving it supervolcano status. If another Yellowstone eruption were to occur today, what would happen? Yellowstone isn't just an American treasure, it's the world's oldest national park. Established in 1872, Yellowstone spans 3,472 square miles, 8,987 square kilometers, across three states. For those keeping track at home, that makes Yellowstone's national park status older than the National Park Service itself, considering the organization was founded in 1916. The park sees nearly 3 million visitors each year. Most visitors flock to the area for the stunning natural scenery that includes the Old Faithful Geyser and its many hiking trails, mountain peaks, and hot springs. Not to mention the many wildlife that call the park home, including grizzly bears, elk, moose, beavers, and bighorn sheep. But beneath the surface of this nature lover's paradise lies another natural wonder that could potentially wipe the park off the map. The Yellowstone supervolcano is a massive source of granite magma that lies miles beneath the park's surface. While it's unlikely to erupt anytime soon, a major eruption would be bad news for nature lovers and many people near the park. The Yellowstone supervolcano is a massive volcanic system beneath the national park. It's one of the largest active volcanic systems in the world. The Yellowstone supervolcano has a massive caldera, a large crater that forms after a major eruption empties a magma chamber beneath the surface. While Yellowstone frequently experiences geothermal activity, such as geysers and hot springs, the risk of an eruption is low. If the Yellowstone volcano were to erupt, it would happen like this. Heat rising from deep within the planet's core would begin to melt molten rock just below the surface. That would create a mixture of magma, rock, steam, carbon dioxide and other gases. As the mixture collects and rises over thousands of years, the pressure would eventually push the ground upward into a dome, creating cracks along its edges. When that pressure is released through the cracks, dissolved gases would explode, rapidly emptying the magma across the park. Such an eruption would involve more dangerous lava flows and could kill as many as 90,000 people instantly and spread a layer of molten ash 10 feet, 3 meters, high as far as 1,000 miles, 1,609 kilometers, from the park. Rescuers would likely have a hard time getting in. The ash would seal off all ground access points, and the release of ash and gas into the atmosphere would shut down most air travel, as happened when a much smaller volcano erupted in Iceland in 2010. Equally frightening is the nuclear winter that some experts say could blanket the US and other parts of the world if Yellowstone erupts. Sulfuric gases released from the volcano would shoot into the atmosphere and mix with the planet's water vapor, 